Hey everybody, we are live on tape, coming to you from Disney Springs on a kind of cloudy day, uh, a little bit sunny, it's not as hot as it has been. Uh, today I think we're going to head over to Animal Kingdom Lodge and take a walk around there, haven't been there in quite some time, and kind of take a peek, but I'm glad that you joined us. Uh, don't be misled by the Star Wars sign. We're heading out to the African uh, savanna today, so uh, buckle up, enjoy, and let's have a great time. You know, one of the best things about this time of year is the low crowd sizes, not only in the parks, but all the all the amenities including transportation and right now I'm king of the bus which means I'm the only person on the bus uh, you don't really see it a lot obviously during the summertime or spring break or holiday period so pretty awesome but we'll be heading off to Animal Kingdom launch shortly and we'll see you there So, we're going to walk in here, just as a guest would be walking in, checking into the resort, the bus stop is lovely, like all deluxe resorts, it's completely covered from the time you get off the bus to the time you walk in. And as all DB, DBC resorts, you have your awesome welcome home sign. So, let's walk in the main lobby. Really cool inside here. As you see. Just absolute gorgeous lobby. Wow, it's been a long time since I've been in here, and I gotta tell you, it is pretty, pretty breathtaking. I mean, it just gorgeous. Check in areas over here, and they've got. As you see, art scattered throughout. I'm not getting, I'm not getting a huge, huge fragrance as normal in these deluxe lobbies. Especially, you feel like there's always like a signature scent. I haven't gotten that per se. But let's take a, it's just gorgeous. Oh, this is interesting here. Really cool art throughout the lobby. Really cool little sitting area here, looking out to the main courtyard. Let's go out there and have a seat and check out the savanna. Let's see uh, what we can find, but just absolutely gorgeous, stunning. One of the prettier lobbies that I've seen at any deluxe resort. So, off to a good start here. Let's head outside. You know, one of the things that I'm trying not to fall down these steps here, but one of the things that I really, I know I mentioned it before, but what I really like is just the, the lack of people. I know that sounds bad, but going from, you know, park to park or even in some of the resorts, you just see an overwhelming amount of people. So it's really nice just to 
I mean, definitely going to be people here as I walk outside, but ooh, definitely less than you would, again, find during your summer or spring break. Oh, my. Got to turn you guys around to get a view of what I'm looking at. This is pretty intense. So this is the view. We have animals out here. All over. Did you see the rooms. But I didn't know this. I'm not sure if you do you folks do either. But the the savannah at Animal Kingdom obviously doesn't connect to this little Savannah, but for some reason I always thought that you that it did. I don't I don't know why. But this is actually these are fenced off from the Animal Kingdom animals, but just really cool. Let me zoom in here on this guy. Just chilling, hanging out. It'd be pretty cool to walk out of your room and see a and Coley cattle often called Watusi. These large animals are the first domestic cattle in Africa and have played an important role in traditional tribal society, which would be an awesome fact if I knew on the top of my head, but I just read it off this sign that is, is nearby here. So, don't think that, uh, <laughs> don't think that I'm that bright because I'm not, believe me. But cool sound out here. You can hear the kind of tribal chanting going on. I don't see anybody on their balcony, but I would definitely, if I was staying here, would definitely use that amenity. Hang out. Let's take a little little walk around. Let's see what else we can see. But really cool signage around. a gorgeous resort I haven't been I've been here before but I haven't been here quite some time so it's kind of cool to get back you know you forget how just stunning especially this is such a unique property I'm just gonna follow this little walking trail through here see if we can't catch any more wildlife whoa that bird over there it's like looking in a room I don't know if you can see if I can get zoomed in on it What is that? Just kind of looking in a, a room. That'd be crazy to like be staying in your room and then just a bird just pops up <laughs> in your window. It's a pretty cool walkway. Little little cutouts and little nooks and crannies you could kind of walk around and catch some of the wildlife. It's a really cool bench right here. Oh my god. That is crazy. Just zebra. Just chilling. Just a couple zebras just minding their own business. Getting some lunch. This is pretty crazy. This is just a good place to come relax and check out the wildlife. Sorry, I keep flipping back and forth on you. It's gimbal's new. So learning it. Hello. So learning its control. It's kind of a better overview of the room situation here again I mean if I was in the room I would definitely be out and about checking out the animals and kind of a better view of that Watusi cattle 
really really cool you see the feed stands throughout it'd be probably probably gets real fun around feeding time I'm sure Kinda walking us back through the pretty grand entrance here, I'd have to say. Really cool. All those windows. Just gorgeous light. Again, I just takes your breath away, it really does. I think I'm gonna have a seat. Enjoy some of the the drumming. Let's see what I can't find out here on the the savannah, quote unquote, here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's kind of your view when you walk in off the observation area. They got a like a swinging bridge type situation. Walking into the the lobby again, it just absolutely gorgeous lobby and just a little theme throughout with the the rope accents going up the grand staircase up here to the the floors just gorgeous so pretty walking you through again the arc throughout and I'm hearing some running water it looks down there like we have some running water it looks like a another chill place a restaurant we'll walk down there and see what that has to offer as well of course we're gonna check out the gift shop here at Animal Kingdom Lodge um, I do remember they have a bunch of really cool animal figures little-known trivia fact our bathroom is themed to Animal Kingdom Lodge at the house so you never know what we might find in here these are cool but just this I love this gift shop because it's so specific to the resort it's just stuff you don't see stuff you won't see it I mean you get your normal you get your normal Disney stuff but you also have your resort specific stuff that is just you know different like you know you're not going to see the giraffe jam anywhere else on property and your pith helmets and your your jungle safari helmet or hats I don't know why I'm calling them helmets but you get the idea your artwork it's really cool super cool it's a cool mug I'm gonna get $24.99 ooh $19.99 not bad at all that's a cool hat $27.99 $29.99 ooh I like that hat though it feels bigger than Disney's hats are notoriously small, by the way. I don't know why. But again, just a super well themed, super thought out. You, I mean, you're going to have your, you know, 20, 2021 merch and all that good stuff, but 
Just a real plethora of super unique items that you just don't see anywhere else. Like it's home collection, it's, I mean, that's at Disney Springs, but I don't recall some of the pieces anyway. This thing, <laughs> the Monsters Laugh Floor Laugh Collector. That thing is a. I've seen that bunch of places too. Jumbo House fedora, Jumbo House t-shirts, cool elephants, just neat, ooh, is that Nike, no that just looks like a wrinkle monster waiting to happen. So again, I just, you know, I get that asked a lot because I've stayed at most of these. I have not actually stayed at this this resort, but I've stayed at most Disney resorts. And I got to tell you, after just kind of walking around the grounds here and really taking in the entire vibe, I would highly recommend this resort. Um, they have three dining choices, uh, Gico. Boma, which is your buffet, which is supposed to be reopening very soon. In fact, they had a sign downstairs that said it was open at 5 o'clock. Um, it's a little before that now, so I can't verify that. But then they had the mirror, which is your quick serve casual. But uh, the team members I've encountered have been super friendly. The the lobby itself, I mean, I know a lot of the rooms are, I hear the, the one of the bangs on it is that the lobby is very far away. Um, which to that I can't really speak to, but that's that's true of a lot of deluxe resorts that I've stayed in. Is you know, especially Beach Club. If you're in the wrong end of Beach Club, I and mean, that's a haul to get back to your room at night. Um, but overall, just I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous resort. If you've not been here, I highly recommend. If you're at Animal Kingdom and you just want to get out of the heat. And check it you know maybe grab some some quick lunch at it somewhere outside the park i mean you're literally five minute bus ride to animal kingdom from here um so i would definitely definitely check it out um and then better yet if you're if you're able to stay here awesome because this place is truly gorgeous and if you love wildlife it's a no-brainer so uh big thumbs up to animal kingdom lodge So, heading out of Animal Kingdom Lodge, back down to the bus area. Again, I just kind of want to completely covered, beautiful theming again. And this is a resort, they're not cheap, and I get it. But for the money, I mean, I really think that you could do worse. You know, another complaint I hear about this resort is how far it is from everything. But that can be a good and a bad. You know, if you are comfortable with, you know, it took probably 25 minutes to get here from Disney Springs but you feel like you're kind of I don't know more peaceful staying here you know it's the lush grounds I mean it this would be awesome in the morning time to get a cup of coffee and just take a little stroll not knowing exactly what you'd see honestly so and again, I just wanted to give you like an overview of the 
the bus stop area is just one of the nicest ones. Holy crap, I think I just missed Disney Springs bus. Great. But that's okay. We'll catch the next one. And that's going to do it. Back here at the Springs. And I think we're going to get a going to head home but thanks for joining us today as always hope you enjoyed our little tour of Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and if you have any questions hit, a, hit us up in the comments or concerns or comments other than that have a great day we'll see you real soon